Rick and Morty has quickly risen to become one of the world's most watched and loved shows on television. It's not just a hit with animation fans, but also fans of comedy and of course science fiction. It has spawned countless videos on YouTube from people ripping off their DVD extras to just live streaming episodes without permission. The show pays tribute to all sorts of sci-fi classics, the popular and obscure, and it leaves fans scrambling to find the hidden references and nods. But what of the world's most loved sci-fi Star Wars? The show is packed with gems, some in plain view, some below the surface. Here are the top Star Wars references in Rick and Morty. In the episode Lawnmower Dog, Rick pulls open his vest and screams Admiral Akbar, a tribute to the Mon Cal leader from Return of the Jedi. In Anatomy Park, Morty is trying to escape through the nipple of a giant dead homeless Santa. A huge disease creature is bearing down on him when at the last minute a larger creature comes to save the day. Morty utters, there's always a bigger fish, in tribute to Qui-Gon Jinn and Phantom Menace. Rick Potion number 9. Rick and Morty are forced to abandon their world after Rick's attempts to correct his experiment goes horribly wrong and makes the world more and more terrible and unworkable. This is clearly a tribute to Star Wars which abandoned their convoluted and confusing expanded universe to have a clean slate elsewhere. Raising Gazorpazorp has Morty impregnating an intergalactic sex robot which then floats around his room and in a ball. Clearly this is a tribute to the floating ball found in the Millennium Falcon in early versions of the script was not for lightsaber training at all, but for the lonely nights in space. The third episode of season 2, Autoerotic Assimilation finds Rick on a planet controlled by an ex-girlfriend who is also a hive mind. As Rick makes his way past the newsstand, there in the background is a magazine hanging up that has Star Wars fan favourite Admiral Thrawn. Morty Night Run sees Rick and Morty trying to outrun the law on the gearhead planet. As the action sweeps through the city, clearly located down the bottom of the shot is Dex's diner from Attack of the Clones. And finally, The Wedding Squanches, which is the final episode of Season 2, finds Rick and the Smith family looking for a new planet to live on. They think they have the perfect place until a screaming sun rises in front of them. The Screaming Sun is a clear ripoff of the small number of crybaby Star Wars fans who complain about the most ridiculous things such as Star Wars toys for girls to Disney owning Star Wars and how they choose to do business. Just like The Screaming Sun, luckily you can always turn your back and move on. Do you have a Star Wars question that needs answering? Leave a comment below or feel free to leave a helpful message. Please subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Star Wars Spelt. And may the force be happening.